Alrighty guys, welcome to this week's episode. I know last week we touched on hunting over food sources and uh, some December tactics, but today we're actually out on a new piece of property, some public ground, and uh, we're looking for some fresh sign and we just don't have the deer right now on our food sources. Part of that's just due to we just didn't get enough food on the ground this season. But um, it's all part of the process. When, you, when you're building a farm, you're not gonna have everything you want right off the bat. It's kind of a slow process. You just need to figure out how the deer are moving, what you can add, creating better habitat, browse cover. The big thing is if you don't have the stem count, that's one thing we're focusing on, is having more side cover, more bedding. And once you create that, you're gonna have more daylight movement. And then when you couple that with food plots, whether it's grain or green, you're really gonna be on to something good. And this year alone, we put in three food sources and uh, we only have about an acre total of food plots. And uh, it changed the whole way my farm hunted, changed the daylight movement. And I also had an encounter with like a 170s, 180s buck this season at 70 yards who came right down into my food source during the later part of the rut. And uh, it's awesome. We passed on a bunch of three and four year olds and I wasn't able to do that last year. We really struggled even getting on a good buck at all. And this year we had brows show up in daylight four different times and uh, I let him walk twice. So that was really cool to get to do that. It all comes down to our tactics. So today while we're out here is just because the deer movement's really slowed down. It's actually 61 degrees, which is crazy for December. So we're just out looking for some new sign. I'm in a transition route right now that leads out to a major food source. And we're hoping to set up a few trail cameras in here today and uh, maybe a good one to show up. So I'm just kind of giving you guys a look. Uh, this stuff's really thick through here, which is awesome. A lot of cover. This property's really got the deer numbers. A lot of fresh sign too. So we're gonna finish hanging these cameras up and then we're gonna get out of here. The sun's already setting, so need to get out of here for the deer start moving. Really today's topic was just to touch more on food and explain, you know, that during late season, a lot of times these deer really shift. They're gonna find a farm with a major food source and they're gonna continue to hit it for the remainder of the season. So if you don't have that food source, you definitely need to look in creating it. And that's what we're gonna be doing this off season. So you guys definitely need to stay tuned in on our off season projects. And hopefully we can help you guys create the type of property that will hold really mature bucks. And as always guys, thanks for tuning in on this week's episode. Hopefully next Friday we'll be back on our property and hopefully the weather will be a little more promising. If we can get a cold front like they're calling for, we have a good chance at a shooter showing up either in the grain field or in one of our hidey hole food plots. But we got our fingers crossed that we can still get the job done this late season. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We're doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. Our giveaway is a blackout wild game trail camera. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that button, guys. We appreciate it.